Hey hi hello everyone, in this video I'll introduce you with Edge, which is a templating engine for Node.js. Now if you're thinking why another templating engine, then stick with me for a while and you'll get the answer to why. Now, apart from being just a boring templating engine, Edge has some really cool features. For example, Edge approaches the component-based layout, something that you're quite familiar with if you have been doing front-end development. For example, Vue.js makes use of components. But of course, with Edge, you'll be doing it on the server, and there will be some semantic differences. Uh, apart from that, there is a really cool concept of view presenters. But for now, don't worry about them. We'll be exploring. Apart from that, Edge has a runtime debugging API with the help of Chrome DevTools. Now tell me seriously, have you ever debugged your templates in Chrome DevTools? I don't really think so. So what we're going to do is we're going to write a very simple Hello World application by using the instructions out here. And in order to run the views, I'm going to make use of Adonis.js as the HTTP server. But of course, you're free to make use of it with Express or Koa or really whatever you like. Now, I have an Adonis.js application out here. And if I'll open the routes file, this is the place where we will set up Edge. So I'm going to say constraint edge use edge.js because I've already installed it from npm. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to register the views. So I'll copy it, paste it here, and instead of basically creating uh, the path to the views directly like this, we'll use the helpers library from it on it. So I'm going to say helpers.views path. And out here, nothing. And what we're going to do is we're going to import helpers. So use helpers. Okay. So what we have really done so far is like basically require edge.js from npm. If you're not using Adonis, you can basically say require. Okay. Uh, next, we have registered the path from where we want edge to load the views. And finally, we're going to create an HTTP route to render the view. So what we're going to do is we're going to say route.get and out here a function request response. And we're going to say uh, response.send edge dot render and the view name. So we're going to say welcome and pass this particular data property with the username. So I'm going to pass that. I believe that's really all. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create this welcome view. Now in Adonis, all the views are basically created inside resources and views directory. So I'm going to say resources, views, welcome.h. Now there is something really important to note about. All the edge templates basically ends with a dot edge uh, extension. So, and this is something really important. And we're going to copy paste everything from here and go ahead, run our server. I'm going to say npm run serve dev and open up a new tab, localhost 3333. And for sure, we do see hello work, which is basically outputting the username, which we have passed here. So right now, there is nothing really interesting about Edge, right? Like this is something that you can do uh, in almost any templating engine, or let it be mustache, right? But something really interesting about Edge is, Edge is a logical templating engine, which means you can write almost all of the JavaScript expressions within your templates. So let's say we want to do something else. Here, if we're going to say if username is equal to make, then we're going to say username, otherwise we're going to say guest, come back, and to do a refresh, yep, we do see guest out here. And as you guys can see, we can write a if shorthand within the mustache syntax. Yeah, so that's very much all from the Hello World example. In the next video, we'll start exploring some really interesting parts about Edge. See you guys.